If you have ever seen the classic space movie The Right Stuff, Chuck Yeager asked if his pilot has any demons. Did he really say that? But what was the real meaning behind this? The truth about the scary sound barrier demons coming up on the next Vintage Retrospect. Hello, I'm your host Chad and this is Vintage Retrospect, a nostalgic corner of YouTube where we talk about all things vintage space and its connecting culture. Now if you look behind me, this isn't the normal uh, backdrop that I'm supposed to be using for this channel. Uh, that's actually for Orbital Edge News Space Pods, um, we'll just have to make it do for now. This is just a temporary change, got a lot of things going on. But anyways, let's get to this. Uh, we need to understand a few things first. It was not demons he was referring to. It only sounds like that in the movie due to how old the film is. This film was released in 1983 and it was about the entire human spaceflight program beginnings from Chuck Yeager all the way to John Clinn from Mercury 7. So what did Chuck really say? He asked Ridley, his pilot of the carrier plane of his X-1, if he had any bean in his gum. He would ask Ridley each time before Chuck would enter the cockpit of his X-1 rocket plane. So what is Beeman's gum? This isn't your ordinary vintage gum. This gum has many cameos in block blockbuster Hollywood films such as Rocketeer and Hot Shots, a parody of Top Gun. Now this is where things get really ironic. In the movie, they refer to the sound barrier as the demon. This is exactly why everyone who has seen the movie thought the stick of gum was being referred to a demon which would have made no sense, but in old movies did everything really make sense. Now that things are cleared up, did you mishear Chuck Yeager's quote? Let me know in the comments below and also don't forget to like and subscribe to this video so that others who may have demonic thoughts during the gum scene will be able to chew their way through the sound barrier. I am your host Chad and I will see you out on the launch pad.